Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, after starting the day with sunshine, clouds are taking over. We are cool and dry. Temperatures are in the upper 40s. No rain yet or no showers yet, but arriving for this evening. So before you head out of the house, I'll grab an umbrella, though. We don't have a stormy night uh, on the way, but some rain. Take a look uh, outside right now in Providence with the, <clears throat> with the clouds taking over and temperatures that are in the upper 40s. You can see the numbers now and looking at the 45 in Providence. Cool in New Bedford at 42. You can see the arrows. That is a sea breeze. So these temperatures in the lower 40s really reflecting the uh, water temperature, which of course is chilly. All right, threat tracker is low for tonight, even though we are getting some precipitation. We're going to bump it up to yellow on Saturday. It's more of a heads up. I feel as though the rain is a little heavier. The wind is gusty, though not extreme. Temperatures approaching 60, but you have to be away from the ocean near the coastline. It'll be cooler and the chance for a few thunderstorms. I think the better chance of any scattered thunderstorms would be not so much tomorrow morning or afternoon, but rather tomorrow evening. And we'll get a closer look at that coming up. Uh, Sunday's the brighter and the drier day. Uh, making national news, unfortunately, we talked about this last night. This area in red and purple are very high risk of severe weather, severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. This is ongoing right now. This weather system is approaching our area for tomorrow. Now we're not getting obviously tornadoes, uh, but the threat of thunderstorms, at least strong to severe thunderstorms, does weaken as it approaches on uh, Saturday evening. But with that said, uh, there's a marginal risk in southeastern New England and then north and west of Providence, a slight risk. And this would be around Saturday evening. This is really the tricky part of the forecast as to whether or not we can figure if, if the some of these thunderstorms may be strong. So we'll talk about that in just a second. The showers off to our west will be arriving this evening. You can see right now that the severe storms are developing across the Mississippi River Valley at this point. So we take this into the future, 7 o'clock this evening, some light rain showers, but a lot of it is gone by midnight and then another round of showers. This is more widespread and a little heavier for tomorrow morning up until the early afternoon. But watch what happens around this time tomorrow, very late in the day. We get into a little bit of a lull with some partial sunshine. And here's the tricky part of the forecast. Watch closely as we get towards around 8, 9 o'clock in the evening. It doesn't look like much, but these speckles of red are developing thunderstorms on either side of 8 o'clock tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. This is the time period to watch all of this lifting away later Saturday night. And then by Sunday, it's breezy, bright, cooler and drier with temperatures upper 40s to low 50s. Feel very confident of widespread rain, heavy at times for the uh, for tomorrow morning. Temperatures very mild, upper 50s to lower 60s. Showers into the early afternoon. We get into a bit of a lull late day where it sort of dries out. And then we'll watch for round two of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Uh, Saturday evening around 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. Sunday is clearly the better day. Bright sunshine, breezy and cooler uh, with temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s.